Sex parties allegedly hosted by DEA agents are raising serious questions for another U.S. elite security agency. An inspector general report says prostitutes bought and paid for by Colombian drug cartels provided their services to U.S. DEA agents on assignment in Colombia. If that's not bad enough, now we're learning secret service agents were involved with the very same women. Those agents were in Cartagena, Colombia, ahead of a 2012 presidential trip. Susan Crabtree is the White House correspondent for the Washington Examiner, bro broken countless angles on this story and joins us live. Susan, obviously there's some of the sore details that are probably not safe for, shall we say, a family-friendly Saturday afternoon television program. But what is interesting to me is how this is in addition to what we already knew about the Secret Service's bad behavior involving prostitutes down in Colombia. That's right. And the main difference between the two is that you had the drug cartels themselves, the people that they were supposed to be fighting, are paying for these prostitutes that the DEA were having parties with in the same apartment where the Secret Service, they were sort of serving as um, sort of arranging the prostitution for these Secret Service agents on a separate trip. And, well, and, you, and you have to imagine that everything that was in that apartment, sensitive documents, sensitive laptops, communications, weapons, all those kinds of things, these prostitutes in the pay of the drug cartels had access to. Well, they actually had their, their uh, police, some of their badges and some of their guns being held off to the side by the Colombian police. So this really shows... That so we're all in this one together. <laughs> right. They're in cahoots <laughs> together, which is not what they're supposed to be down there doing. I don't think that's part of the job description. Is this always gone on, boys will be boys, and we're just learning about these things? Or is this sort of a new level of irresponsible behavior by the DEA and those kinds of people? Well, the extent of the problem with the DEA is really the question here. I did a FOIA request, and it said uh, when they went and looked at the DEA agents' phones, they found 37 contacts with sex service providers. So um, it's really the extent of the parties that were going on. A few of us were kicking this around earlier, and what surprised so many of us was this behavior. So irresponsible, so dumb, so compromising in so many ways, although the legality of it's questionable because prostitution sometimes is legal in Colombia. But what was shocking is how these guys get caught. Teenage girls have burner phones, so their parents don't know who they're texting, these kinds of things. But these, these agents seem so brazen in how they were contacting these women and involved in this kind of behavior. Well, really what we've seen is an all too familiar refrain going on here. The supervisors in Colombia were protecting their own and were not telling, were not um, basically throwing it up to the chain of command. So the Washington. supervisors knew about this stuff. And one of the supervisors was allegedly involved himself at a going away party for him. Unbelievably how compromising this is. Is there anything that we've learned and you've figured out about how effective the DEA operation was in Colombia, or perhaps was it not affected because they're being paid off essentially with sex services by these women paid for by the cartels? I think that's the critical question here, and the Inspector General didn't go into it in his 137-page report, but you can bet that Congress is going to get to the bottom of that, and Jason Chaffetz at the Oversight Committee has already vowed to have hearings this next month. Well, there, there's a lot of ang anger up there on Capitol Hill about this. I is this the beginning? Is this a thread to keep pulling on in terms of more of these kinds of things coming out? It would be hard to imagine that this is isolated if you have a supervisor involved and a supervisor covering it up. Well, I think in Colombia, um, there's other places. Thailand was also mentioned that the prostitution, where prostitution is legal. So I think in Colombia, you're having an extensive problem. And you know with the Secret Service agents, they always said, uh, when they wheels up, rings off, that was the refrain. And so at the Secret Service level, they are getting down to the bottom of it. They've gotten increased scrutiny. Um, and this is new with the DEA. They only got two to ten days of suspension at the DEA. Two to ten days of suspension for using prostitutes paid for by the people they were supposed to be investigating. Unbelievable. All right, Susan Crabtree, we'll see what else you come up with. We appreciate your reporting. Thank you. Thanks, Susan.